Welcome to Vox Pop, the SMC summer pop-up space at Assembly Row, 321 Artisans Way. 431. 431 <laughs> Artisans Way. That might send you to like the loft or something, which is also a good place to check All right, out. Yeah, go check out what's over there and then come to Vox Pop. Uh, we're excited because we have a lot of uh, cool stuff. We have, so yeah, we do have a lot of stuff going on. I think we're going to try to tackle mostly June with a sliver of July. Both here in the Vox Pop space and in SMC Classic yeah, yeah. over at 90 Union Square, our beloved firehouse um, that uh, we had to escape <laughs> from today because of all the crazy construction going on in Union Square. We know uh, there's the best intentions of what's happening for infrastructure upgrades. Um, but <laughs> for our own mental health, uh, we have been working from here. So a lot of really great collaborations that we have um, just, you know, from our, from our normal um, partnerships, but we're bringing some stuff here. Um, we're working with the Women in, Film, Women in Film and Video of New England to host a, a marketing, like professional development workshop called Building Your Personal Brand. Um, which is going to be really cool. Alicia huh. Orsini is going to lead that and just kind of workshop ways that you can feel empowered and more um, confident in sharing like what is your brand and how do you, how do, you do that in like every kind of like day-to-day -day, like activities that come up. Yeah, and we, awesome. we partnered with uh, Women in Film and Video New England uh, before uh, mm -hmm. for pitch events. Right. Uh, which, where people came and, you know, pitched their uh, proposal for a show right. or a program or a film and, and it, we workshopped it in our space yep. um, with all the great professionals over in their organization. Um, and they also, uh, a couple of years ago, they held their annual meeting in our main That's studio. That's true. That's so true. They are like one of our power community partners. It's we true. And they were this year's recipient of um, our nonprofit partner of the year. Yeah. So, okay. So other things. So women in film is one of the, one of the early on events. Um, we're also doing more with the library. I mentioned that they have a micro library here. Um, on June 8th, they're doing a media literacy workshop um, here at Vox Pop um, from 11 a.m. or I'm sorry, 2, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m called The Power, Reading Between the Headlines, The Power of Portrayal and Debunking Fake News. Tackling a topic that um, is close to home for us as an organization, I think, in terms of the hyper-local news that we're producing um, and trying to provide you know, valuable information to the community. Um, and we'll have some different library staff talking about ways to make sure um, you know how to fact check and, and review information. Um, with with a critical with a critical eye, which yep. is cool. So good for all ages. Um, you can and, sign up online. Yeah, it's part of like something that we're deeply uh, concerned about with our media education is yes. media literacy, and that includes you know being able to to sift through information that's provided by you know larger media outlets to to get to some kernel of truth. Um, True. And so that's what this workshop will help you do. Yeah. Become a little better media literate, which I think we all could be. Oh, 100%. 100%. So um, we're happy for that partnership with the library. And another thing we're doing with the library is the second Wednesdays of um, the summer, June, July, and August from 6.30 to 7.30. They'll be hosting their pajama story time. Um, that's with Ann Cassesso, the head of the Children's Library Services. She's a lovely human being with so much energy for engaging um, the kiddos and the families who come. So pajama story times the library, second Wednesday, 6.30 to 7.30. Um, then also on June 13th, Thursday, June 13th, 6.30 to 8, the library is collaborating with Sisters of Crime um, to do a murder mystery improv. Cool. Event. So they are a group of. Um, so they're an improv group. Yes, and well, I think first and foremost they are um, local mystery authors. Um, we have Elizabeth Elo, Francis McNarma, um, Dale T. Phillips, um, and then Clea Simon. Um, who all kind of do this like fast-paced improv where the authors will um, create a brand new mystery using audience suggestions. 
So that's free. Everything we do here at Box Pop um, is free for the community to enjoy. And that is Thursday, June 13th, 6.30 to 8. So if you like mystery mm -hmm. and if you like improv, mm -hmm. you should stay away from this event. Yeah. I would say. <laughs> We're working with bringing in some of our Boston Free Radio DJs to do some um, evenings here for live music. Um, the Villain's Den, which is a really... Um, great uh, Boston Free Radio program that happens on Thursdays from 5 to 7. We'll be bringing their um, acoustic music series here on the second Mondays and third Thursdays, 5 to 7. Um, Chris Haskell is our member who produces that. So they'll be here on the stage um, with local, like not even just Boston area, but, we, but they've had um, different musicians travel from all throughout Massachusetts to come on their show, which is awesome. They give people a really important platform. So they'll be here. Um, gosh, so much. Oh, the so much going so on. So much. Oh, the author talk series. So that's kicking off June fifth. I know I'm bouncing around. That's all right. But you know, it's just, summer. We've had some coffee, so we're feeling really good. It's summertime. Uh, <laughs> we'll bounce around. Uh, so June fifth, six thirty to seven thirty. Wicked Wednesdays author series with Sam Beltrusis. Um, Sam is um, on our board of directors, but he's also um, just a really engaged, um, iconic like author in the um, paranormal ghost um, literature series, and he's had he has a bunch of um, regional authors coming in for his uh, author talks. And the first one on June fifth is the author of Ghosts of Plymouth, Massachusetts, Darcy Lee. Mm. So they'll be joining Sam um, here for a live interview. All are welcome to join the studio audience and hear from Darcy and Sam. Now, what do you say to people who um, might think it's a little too early in the year for um, spooky, Ooh. spooky business? I mean, ghosts never sleep. You know, oh, I think there you go. I think ghosts that never sleep. <laughs> ghosts are equal opportunists <laughs> year round. <laughs> and if you don't believe in ghosts, you know, come anyway. You might be convinced yeah. just to be convinced. I think. I think that, you know, people are just really talented artists and they want to share their work through the literary form and you can come and support local artists and local authors. Um, and Sam will be hosting these um, the uh, first Wednesdays of every month through at Vox Pop throughout the summer. So right. you can enjoy um, that series anytime. Box Pop with Sam Beltrusis, the man Pop. upstairs. It's true. It's true. What else do we have? Oh, so, and also June is a fantastic month because it's Pride Month. We are partnering with the city of Somerville and um, Federal Realty Investment Trust, who own and manage Assembly Row, to host a free Pride movie screening called Love, Simon, um, which is a coming-of-age story of a young, queer teenager coming out and just kind of the moving and beautiful, um, you know, look into what that's like for, for someone. So um, that's happening here at Assembly Row at Baxter Park, um, Saturday, June 15th, um, 8 to 10 p.m. Um, what else? And then later in June, we have a Rough Cut Media screening, which is basically an open mic for creatives. They can showcase their work, whether it's a podcast or a video or a a commercial or whatever it is, and um, folks give you really thoughtful, constructive feedback on your on your project, and hopefully you take that um, in in hopes that you work on improving your project, or you could say that was great feedback, but you're not going to take any of it. I mean, whatever yeah. you do with the information is up to you. But so you've done about twenty or so rough cut screenings. Almost, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and so they're really great. So if if you work in some sort of film or audio mm -hmm. medium um, and you have something in progress, not quite yeah. there. It's something at any stage, um, as long as you have something recorded, um, it would be, you know. It's a wise it, decision. Feedback is always valuable. So, you know, take what you will of feedback yeah. and, um, you know, bring your film. It's an important process, process, I think, of any creative, like, making experience. Yeah. And I think it's a hard it's one of the harder process processes is to welcome feedback and figure out how you can incorporate that right. and, 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 and improve and, and you know grow as a creative maker of whatever sorts. Um, but those have been really you know well attended and just a really good space for people to share their work and, and be vulnerable, right? Yeah. And it's valuable. 
It it's is. Valuable no, it is. vulnerability. It is. And you as an artist, I'm sure, can can relate, right? You Dave and take anyone's yeah. feedback. <laughs> So that event is on <laughs> June 19th, 7 to 9 p.m. here. All right. But people should get you their films beforehand, Correct. Right? Okay, yeah. so how yep. do they do that? So um, on our website, you'll see the Rough Cut um, uh, event listed, and then you can fill out the submission form there. And we screen up to five minutes of your work. So that that gives uh, that brings uh, up an interesting point, like about registration. Yes. Before a lot of these events, is is that encouraged or it is, do I people mean, just show up depending on the both. event? Both. I mean, yeah. you know, we welcome anyone who really shows up to any of the events, but for our own efforts to follow up with you um, afterwards, we you know obviously try to collect your information in a very respectful way so we can keep you informed on other upcoming SMC um, related activities. So we encourage you to sign up in advance or at least let us know you're attending, but it's not, it's not required. So Classic Movie Nights, June 20th um, is our next one. They're the third Thursdays here at Vox Pop. Um, we're going kind of in the trenches of just unique, um, avant-garde in some cases, um, not mainstream movies, basically, but this is the classic movie night series. We, we've done Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton. Um, June 20th, we're doing The Little Shop of Horrors with a young Jack Nicholson from 1960. Um, that is going to be great. I, that's one of my personal favorites. And then in July, we're doing um, a 1950s Superman cartoon marathon, Very cool. which is pretty awesome. The old and then, Max Fleischer cartoons. Yes, exactly. That were uh, rotoscoped. They're so good. They're just, they're so, I don't know, there's a, there's a sense of appreciation that's just, yeah. it's a complete opposite to the special effects that we see today. Um, and then in um, August, to close it up, we are doing Sherlock Jr., um, which is with um, Mr. Buster Keaton. Flotilla. So Flotilla, who do you want to, who is Flotilla? Sure, yeah, Flotilla is a long time uh, show that's been on Somerville Community Access Television. Um, and so, you know, they bring in a live audience, they, they do improv uh, for an hour show, and, uh, and it's fun, it, it's really fun if, uh, if you enjoy Improv comedy. They're fantastic. Yeah, they're yeah, good. they're great. They're 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 young and they have like enthusiasm and energy and. You know. And none of those like older like improv comedians. <laughs> they're just sad and. <laughs> I'm just wow, what an age! What a bizarre. Because <laughs> well, you're like they're young statement. and they're full of energy. I mean, you could be older and full you, of energy. Too. Yes. All right. I'm giving so, you a hard time. <laughs> edit out. Edit out any sort of ageist <laughs> implications of what I just said. We welcome all all walks of life. Anyway, Flotilla's great. They've been around forever, and uh, we love them. And so they will be here at Box Pop. Yes. Doing their improv magic. Correct, and they're doing that July 25th and. Um, August 22nd, uh, 7 to 8.30. Cool. Um, so that'll be really fun. And Vox Pop and comedy, you know, for the short time that we've been here, not even a month, um, we opened with comedy. And so uh, I think Boston, Somerville, Ca Cambridge, you know, they, they, they just love their improv. They and do. they love their stand-up. Um, and part of it is, you know, the college link. Mm-hmm. Um, a, right. lot of, a lot of those stand-up comedians from, the, uh, from our opening show came from Emerson, right? right. Yeah. yeah, so from Emerson College, where there's a comedic arts major. Uh, so yeah, we're just, we're just keeping in on that tradition of, of comedy here at Vox Pop. That is, you know, again, for all the stuff we're talking about, um, our website, summervillemedia.org, forward slash Vox Pop. Um, I know we're running through a bunch of stuff, and while we want to share every little thing, I think there's a full calendar that you can check out there. We love Vox Pop and we're excited about this, this summer space, but we are hosting stuff as well at our, at our regular um, operating um, space in Union Square. Um, but you're teaching a designing graphics for video with Photoshop and Premiere on June 22nd. I am. How do you want to pitch that to folks? So, elevator pitch, uh, are you interested in stepping up your graphics game for your video projects? And do you have uh, even some you know, knowledge of Premiere Photoshop? 
If the answers to both those questions are yes, then you should consider signing up for this class. Um, it, so we'll take uh, you know, some basic Photoshop knowledge that you may already have and learn how to make alpha channel graphics, mm. which you can then import into your Premiere project. And those are PN, those can be PNG, so they're transparent yeah, backgrounds, right? Yeah, so um, not to get too technical. No, let's get technical. Let's get technical. 30 seconds. So 30 no, seconds, kidding. alpha channel <laughs> graphics, you have, and I learned this from Adam, who's over there, is you have three channels. You have RGB, and then a fourth channel, alpha. Um, and you know, PNG supports alpha channel. <laughs> and so you'll learn all nerdy. about this. this. Is getting... Yeah, it's getting too technical already. No, so you'll great. learn all about this at the uh, Premiere Photoshop class, which is June twenty second, ten thirty to twelve thirty. And you don't you we encourage membership always because with membership you get the member rate for any of our workshops. Um, however, this is open for anyone in the community um, and get your spot now and summerlmedia.org. So on that note, thanks thanks for tuning in, Dave. Thanks for inviting me Yeah, on. yeah. And you'll see a recap of a lot of these on the next episode of Some Arts on Somerville Community Access Television. Um, again, a Vox Pop event, somervillemedia.org backslash Vox Pop, or just come to somervillemedia.org uh, to check out everything else we have going on, or come on by, <laughs> by <laughs> 90 Union Square, Somerville Media Center, our beloved firehouse, or Box pop here at Assembly Row at 431, 431 Artisan Way. Artisan. And shout out to our wonderful sponsors here, Federal Realty Investment Trust, for making this space um, a reality for us. So shout out. On that note, high five. High five. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>